Hey, excuse me. Manager? Mr. Manager, just a moment, please. Good evening, sir. Yes. How may I help you, sir? Well, I, I was actually on my way. Oh. Nice bed. Mm. Thank you. Yes, yeah, I... It's been like a million years since I ordered for food. And no one seems to be bringing it. Oh, I'm going to take care of that immediately. Okay, yes. Just a moment, manager. Um, can you do me a favor? What is it? I need to talk with the Eagles coach. I hear he's lodged somewhere in this hotel. So, so as a matter of hotel policy... Listen. Uh, listen. It's imperative that I talk with the coach. And it's also imperative that you address me as professor, not sir. I'm sorry, professor. You don't have to be sorry, just to be helpful. Yeah. Professor. Uh, yes, I mean, um, um, let me ask you a question. What is the place of sports in Nigeria's national developmental strategy? With all due respect, sir, I am not in the mood to talk about sports or whatsoever developmental strategy it is. That's the problem! But that's the problem we all have! No one seems to be in the mood to listen to voices of reason. If governments could listen, they would neither license nor approve educational institutions that do not have sporting facilities whatsoever. I have to. Just a moment! Come on, come on, come on. Mr. Manager, you see, I, I... Let us reason together. How come? Can you begin to fathom? Is it not preposterous that physical education is being taught in the classroom? So now, how can a student write examination on Physical education, physical education, by sitting down in the classroom and writing on paper. I will sit your demand, sir. Professor! What's it in the book, by the way? Coach, I know this is a trying period for you. Nobody loves to see his or her effort lead to rooms. There has been a lot of vested interest in this team. But I can assure you something. You have the support of myself and majority of the players. <clears throat> oh, coach. Anthony here has been an excellent captain. Oh, trust him if he says you have the support of the majority of the players and of course that includes mine oh, thank you guys thank you um the point i've been trying to make is that any endeavor that exploits or destroys the future of other people is evil that is one thing i will not condone stand for or ignore in this team i would rather resign than allow people who know next to nothing about football to dictate what happens in this team coach, coach this is very unfair if the powers that hired me cannot support me to instill discipline in this team then the aim of hiring me as a coach is defeated they can as well coach the team themselves. Exactly. Exactly, coach. My decision not to include Emenike in the list still stands. Coach, we all know the reason you took that decision. If... Odin, if you're trying to make me rescind on that decision, then save your breath. MNK is out. Go! Oh. 
coach. What was the meaning of what he just did? Coach, I was playing football. You were playing football? Yes. Was that tackle necessary? That was a fair tackle now. Just tell him to stop behaving like a sissy and get off the ground. I want you to walk over there and apologize to him. Yes! Yes! I'm sorry, coach. I'm not apologizing anything. What? Hey, Menike. Coach. Leave my pitch. Coach, it hasn't yes. come to that now. Uh, coach, with all due respect, I'm not leaving this pitch. Leave my pitch! Coach, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Coach, coach, coach! coach. Leave my pitch! Coach, coach, coach! coach. 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 Get off the pitch! Hey, hey, hey. Calm down now. Coach, calm down. 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 Get off my pitch! Get off! Calm down. Out! Coach, calm down. Coach, calm down. I'm done with this stupid attitude. Get off the pitch! Coach, calm down. Just calm down, coach. Calm down. What's going on? Let's go! That's in the devil! What I'm doing might not seem the best of actions. But I am tired of his excesses, which I have tried to endure over the time. Coach, all of us know that Emenike is a growing young man. He is not perfect. But and who says I'm perfect? Coach, he's a very good player. And I believe that with time he... I believe that the football pitch does not lie. You see everything that needs to be seen out there. Now, apart from football skills, tactical awareness, and, and, and physique, temperament is any player that cannot play under pressure and still keep his emotions in check for the good of the team is definitely the bane of the team. What I am saying is that I have washed my hands off Williams. Totally. Well, it's a good thing you all have seen how much respect Williams has for us. I've always wanted to treat his F-ups, but you always tell me to die the matter. Um, boy, I'm okay. So you thought that what belongs to you is a secret cow to Williams? Huh? Now to do that, no say Williams no good where woman matter day. Williams feed day on top of your mama. Hmm? They eye your sister. See, they text your wife. <laughs> um, um, what do we do now? Who will frustrate him. Yes. As far as his team is concerned, we will frustrate him. <laughs> if I talk, they will say I don't still talk. But what did me get to talk for this matter, obviously? Person will not fear your hair. If you bite your head. You're supposed to get all the morale for this life. They bite the person for your ash. You're not supposed to fear everything go follow and come out. <laughs> Wait, if you told me that. <laughs> Kira. Yeah. What's up? Where did Onye say she was going to? How am I supposed to know? You were here when she said she was going to Abuja. I don't know. You know exactly where Onye went and what she went there to do. Please, please, Obi. I am not caught out for your problem this night. I'm not in the mood. Please. <laughs> but you are conveniently in the mood to send Onye to go fight your dirty battles for you, right? 
Onye is in Asaba and not in Abuja. You know this. And what's that supposed to mean? She meant to send you this text message. She sent it to me. Just read it. Text message. God. Hey. Oh my God. God. Oh my God. How could she do this now? I just hope she doesn't get into any trouble. I didn't ask her to do this. Seriously, trust Kira. me. Kira, if anything happens to my sister, I will not forgive you. Uh, Obi, why are you talking as if I know your sister as well? Please come and let's know how to do this. You know how it is with our players sometimes, they could be melodramatic. It was getting very dramatic because it got you running out when we're about to start something naughty. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here now. Who says we can't continue from where we started? Maybe it's time for me to reveal to you why they call me Mr. Talk. Let me see what you've got. Who is that? I'm coming. I need to talk to you right now. What is it? You know how mischievous these girls can be. I don't know how she accessed my phone. And transferred all my videos to her phone. Oh, God. She transferred all your videos. All! Oh. Listen, Bruce, I need to find that girl. I need to take care of that girl right now, or she, she will mess me up. You understand, don't you? Williams. Did she also take the sex tip you had with Emenike's wife? How did you get to know about that? Where is she? friends for? You're my friend for Christ's sake. What, what, what are friends for if you can't help me? I need you to do something. What do you want me to do, Williams? You want me to call him in the case, sit him down, and I'm telling that it was a mistake that you slept with his wife? Is that what you want me to do? Come on, you make it look to sound too bad. I'm not like that, you know it. I try to be nice to these girls and they find me very attractive and irresistible. Will you spare me those excuses of yours? I know you too well, Williams. You have no respect for other people's women. I know you. Now you call me your friend. Did you remember our friendship when you slept with my girl in Brazil? Did you remember? When? Ambrose, get out of my room. Get out of my room. Ambrose, why are you making Get out of my room. I want, I, want, I want to beat this guy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. And who says that those who beat people up cannot be beaten? Huh? It's okay. It's okay. Take it easy. Nobody should open that door. Why? Maybe the security man, or maybe one of those boys that she pissed off, or even the police. Hello, hi girls. My name is Tracy. I'm here to see Onye. That's her. 
Oh really? Why are you looking for me? Hi. Please, I beg you, don't just say what will make me dust you this night. Come on, excuse me. Are you aware that most of you are just, you're just a bunch of time bomb waiting for where to detonate and explode? Most of you, most of you guys who call yourself footballer. Now listen, old man. I don't just call myself a footballer. I am a footballer. Do you understand? Aha. Uh -huh. I think you have to go and do something about this chip and attitude I see on your shoulders. You know, they easily give away the fact that you have a low self esteem. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you think I have low self esteem? Well, most of you. All right, wise man. What makes you think I have low self-esteem? Did I, did I forget to mention that despite your relatively high income, your taste in most things is, is low grade? Now you have my attention, old man. Do you know how much my shoes and clothes are worth? But that is only the point I'm trying to make. They may be expensive, but they are just extraneous and overt efforts to cover up your low self-esteem. Not that I blame you, though. I mean, it's not so easy to be suddenly uprooted from your humble estate into the high glees and glitterati world of the bourgeois. Do you know something, old man? Now I really think you need a good girl to keep you busy this night. Well, if I would have a girl, it wouldn't be one of these whores you people run around with. Look, no girl with an impeccable and sterling pedigree would ever indulge in the, in the type Old of... Old man! Hey, you address me as professor. Let you go back into your room and sleep. Good night. No. No, no. What you have just said is a big no. Matter of fact, I would appreciate it if you would get your black ass out of this room. Meaning you should leave. We are trying to figure out the extent of damage Onye has done. And here you are, talking about doing more. Are you alright? Like seriously? Hey. Whatever your name is, you need to leave this room right about now. She's my guest. She's not living here. I don't talk and say I go beat person for this place. Oh. I go beat person for this room. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know what they call you. I don't want to warn you again. Piss me off one more time and I will send you out from this hotel this night. Um, Onye, yeah. thanks for hearing me out. Welcome. I've always believed as women we should be eager to be there for one another. Hey, I will give you three reasons why you need to leave this suite right now. One, nobody here knows you. Two, nobody here, including Onye, who you have just given this cock and bull story, trusts you. Three, the two reasons I have given to you are enough. <laughs> Onye, how come they are all ignorant of the fact that men who treat them like shit should be treated as one? How come? Well, as for you, I don't even know if you have a name. <laughs> when you're done running your mouth, do yourself a favor and get out of my pretty face. Uh huh. And if I don't, <laughs> I will gladly give you a face beat. Give you a face beat with this. Hey, 
That's mine. Hand it over. Right now. Hmm? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You can have it. Hand it over. But I can still use this. If you don't mind yourself. Someone is there. Onyinye, what do you want? I actually called you for something else. In the meantime, I want you to bundle this girl out of this room and out of the hotel this night. Listen, there is a limit to the insult a man can take. And if you know what is good for you... And if you know what is good for you, go in there, get the intercom, call your security man to take this girl out from this room this night. Oh, don't worry. There are better ways to handle things like this. Hey, Abby. Thank you, stars. Like I said, uh -huh. girls like this don't know that the man who treats them like shit should be treated as one. <laughs> they don't understand. They don't. Mm -hmm. switched off. The line is switched off. Are you even listening to yourself? What am I supposed to do? Eh? I didn't even know she was going to avenge me. Eh? I, don't, I didn't know. <laughs> if anything happens to her, if anything happens to her, well, until then, if I have anything to say to you, I will say it to you. Why are you talking like this? I didn't even know she was going there. She didn't tell me anything. Why are you carrying on as if it's entirely my fault? No, it's not your fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. I never said that either. It's, it's not our fault. Let's just put heads together and know what to do. This is not the time to blame each other, please. All right, please. Yeah. The number is not even going through. Hey, okay, let me try and see if it's going through. This is not funny at all. It's not, it's not. It's not. Hey. Sorry for disturbing you, sir. I'm sorry. It's all right. What can I do for you? Oh, I get it. It seems both of you are here because of the same reason. Coach, I don't know who sent them. Where is it? Coach, I'm going to get I need to discuss it. Coach, it's your first 
respect you. Coach, it's your respect. What's your problem? What is going on here? What's the problem? Coach, ask him more. No. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, it's not been long we landed. Hello, superstar. Darling, hold on, let me call you back one minute, all right? All right. What are you doing here? Um, alone? Well, I must confess, you girls are looking luscious, gorgeous, and beautiful. <laughs> I like what I see. How about you tell me this one? <laughs> well, I see you girls have got the right things at the right spot. You can see that again. Of course. I um Alright, so uh, I hope you girls love Naughty because I love Naughty. Yes. We love money, we got a lot of it. We could do more than nothing. Oh. All right, money. Um, I have a lot of that. Trust me. I got money. Hey, hey! Excuse me, please. Thank you. What did you just do? <laughs> Piss off! Stay away from this one. He's taken. Yes. I'm sorry, lady. Sorry about that. So long. Hey! hey. <laughs> What's funny? You told me you needed some privacy with your friend, and here you are, flirting with those cheap things. Um, I must confess, you, you got a lot of nerves. Great gods. You know, sometimes uh, you sound so fiesty and um, overprotective, and it makes me feel like I am dating a super. Uh, enough. Let's go back to the room. Because you're mine, I'm tired of those stupid drama. Let's go inside. Look, baby, you don't understand. No, 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 it's not. Don't even It's important that we all realize that my job is on the line here. Shut up! Shut up your mouth! What is wrong with you? Your nonsense job. Your job, my foot. You're talking about my life and you're talking about your job. What's in the world? You want me to punch you? Huh? I'm very sorry, but this job is also my life. What's in the world? What's in the to you? See, respect yourself. Eh? Don't make me lose my patience. Because I could punch your face right here, right now, and nothing will happen. MNK. MNK. Coach, you. Now, I want everybody to calm down. Calm down. Williams. Coach. What exactly happened? Coach. I don't really like what we did. We would have teamed up to beat that girl blue and black. She has nothing to lose. You have something to lose. Meaning what? Ambrose found it funny that she slapped. It shows she means more to him than we can ever be. So? What do you think will happen if Oganaya comes out here and sees us fighting a girl over his team? having their nocturnal meeting at my doorstep. Uh, why can't you go back into your room and continue your so-called walk? Well, why don't you take your urchins into your room and walk? Who are you calling urchins? You are about to behave like one. Okay, baby, just go inside and leave this old man alone. Professor, get inside. Hey, now when you are at it, eh? keep the noise down. It's not a war. 
There's a reason why it's called love making. Ego. Get inside. Manager, we'll see in the morning and um, know how to sort this out. Okay? All right, sir. See you in the morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. I will tell you boys something. To millions of youths out there, you are nothing else but superheroes. Nobody cares about the trauma you might have experienced in your journey to becoming successful footballers. Nobody cares. But right now, it is your destiny. And upon that destiny, Rest a momentous responsibility and not this show of shame. You embody a whole lot of things millions of youth out there lack. Passion. Success. Unshakable moral fiber. And a whole lot more. You owe it to the people out there. People that look up to you. You owe it to them because you are superheroes. Uh, uh, coach, now listen. We are going to reason like civilized people. Like superheroes. And find a solution to this problem. Nobody needs the negative publicity that will come out of it. Even if it's not for you, do it for your families, for your loved ones, and millions of youths out there who look up to you. Do you understand? Do you? Yes, coach. What is the matter with you? Can someone sleep in peace? If you want to sleep in peace, look for someone to peace off. And when they kill you, you can finally rest in peace. Why, why did you turn on the lights? Why? I want to ask one question. Which is? What is our fate? How do you mean? If that girl who walked in here knows about the problem between Oninye and Williams, doesn't it mean that the whole or almost the whole team has heard it? And so? They would think we're all here for the same purpose. They won't let us come close to them anymore. Oh, jeez. I hate thinking for dummies. And who is the dummy? Hey, Jira, turn off the lights and go back to sleep. Really? You girls won't say anything.
Ruby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you earlier. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, it's okay. Why is it that you don't like talking about it? Talk about what? Why you didn't end up a professional footballer? We all know that you are good. Oh. And to be a professional footballer is what you've always dreamt of. So what happened? You see, Kira, to be a successful footballer, you need to be noticed. You need luck and lots and lots of connections. But you were noticed. You also had luck. And you also had agents who was there for you. He was a fake. That man was one of the numerous fake agents that go about duping families of the hard-earned money with the promise of giving their children bright football future in Europe. Mama sold almost everything we had to make up the $5,000 that evil man demanded for. I still believe it's one of the reasons that killed Mama. No. I have not forgiven myself ever since. It's okay. We all know that Mama died of natural causes. I know better. She couldn't bear seeing me come back with nothing after a full year. Do you know the amount of effort everyone put in to make sure I traveled and I came back empty handed? I know. It's okay. Don't feel bad. All right? What really happened? <sighs> See, we left Nigeria for Senegal. Then we traveled to Cape Verde by boat. We were supposed to train there for a while before going to Spain. You know, one day we were training and some white men came. I was excited. I was hoping for something wonderful. But after the training, the white guys just left without saying anything to anyone. It was a few hours later we realized the agent left with them. There was no deal, no game, no plan for us. We were stranded with no money. And the hotel had no, they didn't have any other option but to throw us out in the streets. I was living in the street for. I was living in the street for. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, I feel really bad. But God will surely punish him for what he has done to you and to other guys. I hope so. You know, I still feel terrible. I still feel bad that I couldn't spot this guy as a fake. How could I have spotted him as a fake when he looked so well fed and dressed expensively? <laughs> that man even promised me $2,000 for my first trial and said I would earn as much as ten dollars to $20,000 if I could sign a contract. And they were all lies. All lies. How can someone lie even more than the devil himself? I blame myself. It's all my fault. Because the only thing in my head was the exchange rate from dollar to naira. How would you blame me? I thought all our financial woes were over. <laughs> it's okay. It's well. God knows the best. It's well. It's well, okay? Come on, stop it. Boys playing for the big clubs overseas think that those of us playing for the local league are not good enough. I know I've never to prove myself in the pitch that I deserve the green white green on my back at World Cup, and I'm not going to allow anyone frustrate me. Well, I've tried to talk to the coach about it, and he assured me that securing a place in the team will be based on merit. But it's obvious to me that the coach does not know where this wing is blowing. What do you mean? Why are you talking as if you are blind to what Emenike is doing? Fashi, that guy, 
Emenike is feeling so insecure that he uses every opportunity he has to make everyone believe he's much more than he truly totally is. No, I don't really think that guy has the pull he makes believe he has. No. <laughs> this is not a joke. And Emenike is not joking too. His brother-in-law is the vice president of this country. And how are we sure that things will not work in his favor? Okay. What are we going to do? I honestly believe that we should throw our weight behind the coach. And what is the worth of our weight? All right, baby, what are you? It's why he tried to rip me. She did what? Williams did what? Yes, he did. When he found out I was not willing to give in to his sexual advances, he tried to rip me. And why haven't you said a word about this? When did this happen? Talk to me, baby. When did this happen? And why haven't you said a word about it? Hello. Excuse me. When you knock at the door for a wife and no one comes to get it, then you should automatically know that either there's no one inside or the person inside does not want to be disturbed by you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Please, sir, would you know? I would appreciate it if you would address me as professor. Okay, uh, Professor, hmm. uh, would you know... Just an instant, please. Coach Onyekwere. <laughs> my. Yes. Oh, my. You know... I watched you play football. And you were simply a delight in the pitch. I'm happy you're the one now coaching the Eagles. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, I know it must be a Herculean task. Oh. Yes, because these boys... We are trying our best. Yes. Yes. Um, would you know where... Yeah, excuse me. I will tell you what you want to hear. Just allow me to interact with you or open up some things. I've been trying to get across to you, you know. Um, professor, please. I would want to know where... Coach! Listen! I know you have the interest of the national team at heart. But it beats me that you people are still ignorant of the fact that uh, the most successful national teams draw the bulk of their players from two or three local teams in the home league and uh, a sprinkling of the best players overseas. We know about all that. We know all that. But, um, um, I have to go now. Let's talk about this some other time. Uh, listen to me, coach. Well, of course, uh, coach. I, I know my interest in football will be fully rekindled once more. But that will be only when government begins to implement long-term plans that would fully harness the overwhelming employment potentials of our local league. You, you have a point there. Oh, yes. You see, all these administrators that had over the years presided over failure in a, a football body, they must be replaced. The whole structure of football must be overhauled. Well, we'll get to that point. It's, it's only a matter of time. No, coach. It's not a matter of time. It's a matter of urgency. This is something that has to be done fast. I believe it's the responsibility of every sports-loving Nigerian to demand for it. Otherwise, it will remain business as usual. And, and it will be tantamount to allowing that one area 
where Nigerians have a right to expect a modicum of success, uh, that area would allow it to remain comatose, a, a miserable and decrepit a victim of government inadequacy. Do you understand? What the hell are you talking about? That you slept with William just to get back at me? I am sorry for you. I am sorry for you because as we speak right now, that stupid video has been downloaded on every device out there. What? Can you imagine? She wanted to cheat on you too? Exactly. Ah. But that's stupid now. Look like she was still with her two wrongs make right. You know, I don't even know where she got this nonsense and childish thinking from. Um, bro, who, who sent that video to you? I don't know. You know, I, I tried calling the number but it was switched off. When I saw it, I, I thought it was just normal, normal um, stuff, you know. But until I played the video, you mean a key? See, Williams, Williams, Williams should know who sent that video. He should know who has the video. Williams, you know, I was just too angry to ask him. I felt like punching him to stupor. I used to believe this was only my girlfriend and I'm not safe in his hands. I didn't know you take on my wife. See, uh, was... Emenike, there's no time. You understand? We, we have to find out the whereabouts of that girl from, from, from Williams. No time. Excuse me. The same number. Pick the call now. Hello. Who are you? What's up? said that I am not her type, Abby. See, I feel like slapping you around the bit. But b b before I do that, eh, I want to know if you are aware of the kind of problems that you just walked into. Whatever problem she has created, none of us have an idea about at it. At all, at all. I'm Ej not... Ejiro, you're leaving this room now. No. Nobody is leaving this room until I saw Where's your phone? Can I have it? Can I have it? <sighs> the password Don't is... Don't bother. I'll destroy the phone. Just tell me how many people have you sent the video you sent to me? Who else? Well, the videos are somewhere safe online. The power to click send 
and share them on YouTube and every other social media. He's in the hands of... Uh, do you want the videos on Linda Ikeji's blog? If the person that will hit the send button does not hear from me in the next few minutes, all hell will let loose. You owe it, but now it is your destiny, and upon that destiny rests the momentous responsibility and not this show of shame. Ah! What did happen now, bros? What's this girl now? See, if you slap her now, she go talk. Her brain go reset. S -s 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 slap her now. That's good. Ah, good why? But why would you hit a woman? That Williams raped her, yet you wouldn't do anything about it. If you had jilted her for no just cause, it wouldn't be an issue. But setting her up with rape and denying her the same Shut thing. up! Listen, you don't even have an idea what you're getting involved in. Mm. You also don't know what you've gotten yourself into. Kira is my sister. And I'm here to make you all pay for what you did to her. And I guess I should let you know that if I don't bring my sister in the next 60 seconds, she's going to send the videos to Linda Ikeji's blog and other social media. A lie. I mean, case she know fit. She, she, she no get that guy mind to put that video online. 55 seconds. She no fit. 30 seconds. She no, she no fit now. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. Now, I have to go look for you know, if something bad probably happens to her. But you do not know exactly where she will be in Asaba, so how do you find her? I don't. I'll just find her. You, you really want to? You just take care of yourself in the house. I'll be back soon, okay? Thirty seconds to go. Fifteen seconds left.
very sorry. They hurt me real bad. And I won't let this opportunity to really mess them up slip off my fingers. I won't. I am sending this link out. Hey, my friend. Hey, I know this face. You're a talented player, indeed. Well, I'm, I'm Professor. Darted and dashing your eyes left and right as if all the demons in the world are after you. Oh, God, yes. Excuse me. Are you intentionally ignoring me? Or is it that my professoral appellations have intimidated you into becoming a, an impromptu deaf and dumb? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Chambers? these players more than you people that watch them only on TV. Sir, we are trying to build a formidable team that... Yeah. Hello? Hello? I've been trying to reach um, MNK on the phone, but he wouldn't take my calls. I've, I've, I've been to his room and Organia's room. I don't... Why are they not taking my calls? Coach, there's a big problem. What problem? 
Her priest is pursuing William all over the hotel and has threatened to kill him. Why? They wouldn't say. Better thing. I have never been subjugated to such mental and physical torture. I repudiate it in every sense of the word. Listen, boy. I cannot be vicariously liable for your anger towards your, your teammates just because of my altruistic and uh, public spirited efforts towards your sublimation. Hey, 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 Oga. Look, I know they fear the hell of your grandma. I know they fear your grandma. Look, you just carry your face me for you. Felony! Felony! This is discourteous and disrespectful to say it is. <laughs> I, I mean, coach. Coach, coach, can you see that? Where is Williams? Williams is in this man's room. Coach, do you see how your boys have so ignominiously locked me out of my room? I am sincerely sorry about that. Please, I will take care of it. Williams! Williams, it's coach. of you in my room right now. Now. Well, coach. Second thoughts. I, I am beginning to think that it wouldn't be a bad idea to, you know, slap these boys around once in a while. <laughs> now. To my room. To my room. Williams, did you... Imagine the violence for the life of me! What was I doing in my room in the first place? What do you think? You know what they see about blackmailers, right? You murder them. What? Yes. Guy, you, you won't kill a person. See, forget my ginger inside there. Forget it. If you want to murder anyone, count me out because that's where I'm going to draw the line from trying to help you. I am serious. And I miss the phone for anything in the world. I'll be here until checkout. And I will then do them the final blow. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Williams really thinks he's God's gift to women. But he's not. Onini, do you know you could actually get arrested and charged with blackmail? Who did I blackmail? It is obvious you got those videos through. Those videos really steamy. I mean, did you see them doing it? Can I even see this video that's got everybody filming? No, you can't see it. Okay. Um, so when will you post them online? Mm -hmm. hmm. I thought you were concerned about her arrest and being charged for blackmail. 
What is that one feeling like? Eh? How can someone bulldoze her way into other people's lives and begin to say what happens? My dear, Onye doesn't even know this girl before. And here they are chatting like they've known themselves for years. I wonder. Hey, I have not made any demands on anybody. And I don't intend to do so. Why would anyone charge me for blackmail? Anyway, thanks for your concern. I'll have to go back to my discussion with Tracy. Uh -huh. Tracy. Only darling. Yeah. You really are a godsend. Wow. I've been looking for a way to make that mad William stay away from my lovely, sexy, cute, sweet Ambrose. <laughs> you made it work. Could have seen his face when I told him that Williams tried to rape me once. He was furious. Yeah, he was angry. Packed like a dog. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> I wish I was there to witness the oh, whole reaction. It's not funny at all. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's really the truth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I hope you guys know that I'm not sleeping another night here. So you try and wake up the man. That's if the hotel manager will allow you guys to sleep here one more night. <laughs> Tracy. So my darling, like you said, mm -hmm. Ambrose was so furious. Oh. He was, he was angry. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh baby, are you sure? So, yeah. He was furious. Uh -huh. and, uh, you okay? I could feel the anger in his face. I was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, your baby he tried to hurt me. And he didn't go well with his personality. He felt so bad. Chris. I am. Very disappointed. So disappointed that you know we have accommodation issues. Yet, you give those girls a sweet. Look at all that of events. Just look at how things are turning upside down just because of that one mistake. Coach, coach, I am ashamed of myself. I am only pleading. If there's anything you can do to change this whole situation, please help out. I'll see what I can do. Leave. Right. Thank you, coach. Um, guys, I'm sorry about the whole thing. Please. Now listen, boys. I do not have a problem pretending that none of you exist. And then start from the scratch to build a new national team. I don't care who you think you are or the connections you think you have. I was hired to manage this team and I am definitely going to be in charge. I will not relent in my effort to bring Back discipline to this team. I'm tired of your insensitivity towards other people's emotions and, and feelings. Henceforth, it's either you're in this team or you're out. Oh, my coach, I mean... It... Shut up! I've been lax. Too lax for the good of this team. And that is a problem. But trust me, it is no longer going to be a problem. Telling you the truth, my sister is staying here. See, my friend, I'm not going to warn you again. No. Leave this place. How do you expect me to leave when I just stop? All right. See, please allow me to go in there at the reception and ask them if there's any new lodging here. You are daft. Yes, I can see you. You are daft. Please don't insult me. You are daft. Okay, in the next one minute, you are not going to like where you are going to as and where you see yourself. If 
if you're not daft, eh, you wouldn't have ended up as a common security man. You should be ashamed of yourself that a bike brought you outside and you're begging me to open the gate for you to come inside. So that you come here and be asking question upon question. The hotel that was built by someone like you, a boy of your age. Bros, leave that thing. This, this, this is not a hotel. And this is a core hotel. We don't see hotel. If you are not daft, you will see that I can express myself better than you. Eh? See, I might be a security man. Yes. But I'm a degree holder. Hmm? I don't think someone like you have ever seen the four walls of the university before. You? Degree holder? Yes, I'm a degree holder. That's why you go about insulting everybody that comes here to you. are a pest. I'm not a customer, I'm a pest. Leave this place. Leave this place or you will not like what I will do to you. Leave this place. Go! You, you, you went to school to study how to be a security man, Abi. I thought, well, go! Idiot. Do your security work. Yes, and go. I will open the gate for you. Why would he's getting himself unnecessarily worried? Hello. Ah, please, I'm not in the hotel right now. Okay, please go home. I'll be back soon. I have to go now, please. you're trying to prove now? Eh? What kind of trouble does she want to get herself into? Eh? I have wanted to go to another hotel. But! Oh my god. Oh my god. I should have listened to my instincts. Just imagine the kind of misfortune someone like me is facing at the moment. If I had gone to the other hotel where the other food posters are lodged, I would have... Oh, shut up and stop whining! Hey. And why won't I whine? My dear, time is money. And as we are to... Wait a minute. Are you girls telling me that you don't know that the whole time we have spent here is a waste? How do you mean? Uh, some people are just dummies. Wait. Did you just throw a shade at me? Huh? Did you? Ladies, please. Let's be reasonable for once. Considering the situation of things at the moment, I have no other option than to support what Ejiro is saying. Go, girl. I think the best thing for us to do is to pack our things and leave this place while we still can. Pack our things and leave? Yes. No. no. Stay. Build a tent here. By the time you pay for this suite and nobody agrees to do anything with you, I will know where you will get the money to. Jesus. And this is all because of Onye. I said it. I said it. That girl is not good. She's just an evil wind that blows nobody any good. Huh? Kira, did you tell Obi where to find me? He just called to say that he was at the gate of the hotel where I lodged. Yeah, I told him to go back home, that I'll be back soon. Uh -huh. By the way, why haven't you replied my ping since? Listen to me and listen real good. I have thought about all this and I came to the conclusion that there was no need wasting our time in punishing Eminike and Williams. They deserve whatever that is coming to them. <laughs> uh. 
what I'm talking about is that I have sent the link to the videos and to all the bloggers that I know. <laughs> Kira, you are crazy. I told you to hold on until I'm safely out of this place. Do you know what these people are going to do to me if they see the publication before I leave the hotel? Oh, please. Oh, yeah, relax. Relax. I did it because I know that you can comfortably take good care of yourself. <laughs> Kira, I gave you an instruction and I expected you to. Where is Johnny then? Ew. able to raise money to pay for an extra night. I'm talking to you girls. Who is that? I think there's someone at the door. Coming, the door is open. I think it's locked. Yeah. Hi girls. <laughs> Oh, please, where is Zonia? If you don't mind, shush out. Run along. Are you girls leaving? I am not leaving. I don't know about her. I've got another one, so I'm moving over. Shut your dirty trap. Look at this girl that's leaving the hotel because of the fear of what the footballers might do to us. Now lies that she's changing room. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm changing rooms. It could be in another hotel, but your biggest problem is that you talk before you think. Huh? Oh, girls. Sorry to interrupt you. Can someone tell me where Onye is? Who you they ask? I still don't understand how whatever Onye is doing concerns you. I am very sure that you have succeeded in making the situation worse for her. Please, let the door hit you on your way out. I said, wriggle out. Oh, it's alright, it's alright. I'll leave. It's okay. Oh, please, run along, baby. Queens. Walk majestically. Watch me. Shut the door behind you. She didn't shut the door. Seriously, are you girls really leaving? How am I supposed to just come on? What does it look like we're doing? No, we are not leaving. We just want to show the reception our designer's boxes. I'm out of here. Oh. don't need help with that bag. Oh, I can see that you're a gentleman. Thank you very much, but I can take care of myself. Oh, yes, and, and I also wanted to say, um, well, it becomes imperative uh, for me to accentuate the fact that given your athletic capabilities, you could as well have become a footballer. <laughs> oh, my God. You know I used to play football. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, he must Oh yeah? <laughs> you are observant to see that I'm athletic. <laughs> yes. Who wouldn't have noticed? I mean, with the way you haul your bag, yes, and the way you uh, junket from one room to the other, and uh, the, the, the staccato noise, the cacophony that emanates from that room when you people are in the heat of the game, and um, the, 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 also the fact that you're not afraid to match this footballer's sweat for sweat. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I, I would have said that given your athletic capabilities, you have done well to join the, the, the Super Falcons and, you know, actualize whatever it is you're disgracing yourself. <laughs> Old man, you talk too much. What? 
Prevalesse. Business. But that's what I'm trying to do. You know, when things are calmer than normal, one is wants to be worried. Neighbor! Oh, honey. What is wrong with you? Are you are you saying that you didn't hear all I've said? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Did you say something? I'm sorry. Come here. What is taking your attention? Did anybody break the internet? No. I am waiting for the good news. What news? William says escapades. And I am sure Imenike will be in the news as well. News or gossip? When video evidence is involved, we call it news. Yeah. Where did you get all this from? Well, um, I think a girl that probably hurt so much in the past is back to hurt them badly. She's boasting of having a sex tape. What? Yeah. That will ruin their career. Yes. So, I'm just waiting. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh. I'm Anike. Coach. Williams. Coach. When I took over this team, it didn't take me a moment to realize that both of you we are best of friends. Friendship is one thing we need most in this team. When we are friends and we play together as friends without suspicions, winning our matches become a lot easier. We have all made our mistakes and a lot of people are hurt. I'll tell you one thing. I still believe that forgiveness is supreme. When we forgive one another, when we forgive those that hurt us, our emotional and sentimental healings become easier. But when we don't, when we hold on to the hurt, a lot of other people will still get hurt. Especially those people we love most. Yes. Good day, Professor. Good day. May I may I come in? Oh sure, sure. By all means. Come in. Comfortable. Thank you. Yes. So what can this old man do for you? <laughs> well, it's um it's hard for me to accept this. But Honestly, I have been a confused man for a while now. And it's it got worse since we since we became neighbors. <laughs> you know, 
I, I need to see it out. I, I, I need to talk to someone that, you know, I, yeah, I, I have said it out now and I feel a lot better. What am I, what am I talking about? Uh, Professor, I, I need to go. I have to go now. Thank you for your time. Well, son, I, I don't know what you've done that's making you a confused person, but I, I know that as a footballer, you are expected to get into that field and perform 100%. It, it, it makes it the more difficult. Well, listen, in football, weakness automatically translates to failure. It's, it's all macho driven, you know. But now that you have transcended the threshold of believing that um, you cannot open up to anybody. You've solved your problem on several fronts. Because if you can open up to me, then you can as well open up to a professional counselor who can help give you all the help you need. Thank you, Professor. Anytime. Anytime. Um, you, you, you seem to know much about football. You played? <laughs> you played? Uh, okay, I'll tell you something that happened. Um, when we were preparing for the African Cup of Nations that was held in Ghana in 1978, it was during the first leg in Sierra Leone. You, you, you played for the national team? Oh, well, it was oh. called um, Green Eagles Den. Oh, injury cut short my career. Oh, I know that face, I know that face. Like this, like this. Come, 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 come and sit down. Oh, that's <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness, yes. Well, boys. I have spoken to the girl, and fortunately, she's ready to help. So we'll go in there, she will call her sister, and we will sort this thing out. Come with me. Come on. <laughs> Look who we've got here. Wow. Williams, what made you remember me today? Kira, why are you doing this to me? Williams, I warned you. I warned you to stick to me. Else, I would make you pay. But you wouldn't listen. How could you? How could you say that what happened between us was a mistake? That was really insulting. You insulted my personality. Kira, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, shut up. Shut up. I hate it when a man willingly takes what a woman offers. And then, conveniently gets a bite of morality. Do you know what it took me? Do you know what it took me to manipulate a But you didn't have to do that. Just go thank your stars. Thank your stars that I'm not good with this internet stuff. I'm calling my sister right now. And once I get through to her, she's going to send this video to the internet. And you will surely be roasted alive by the whole world. Kira! Kira! Hello? Who is this? Kira!
Kira, you lied to me. Kira, you lied to me that Emenike set you up. Kira, you made me believe that Williams raped you. Kira, you went against my instruction and tried to upload those videos online. Kira, what is wrong with you, Kira? <laughs> Any allegation leveled against you stakes. I understand that is what has happened. But I've learned my lessons. I have learned my lessons. I've learned my lessons. What have I done? What have I done? How do I wriggle out of this? I thank you. I just want to say thank you. Do you know this guest almost took my job from me? Oh my God, thank you. These guests are mad. This is different. Come on, we are here to honor someone who has served this country meritoriously in the field of soccer. So we should be, we should make it flamboyant. We should be happy. Go out there and make the spectators happy. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about it. I wasn't too sure. That's the, the reason I, I've never said a word. Yeah, but what is it? Coach, it's about Matthew. Yeah? What about him? I, I don't think he's uh, really comfortable working with you. I know about Matthew. I know. I know he's the one that has been instigating some of the players to revolt against me. Coach, you knew and, and you didn't do anything to... Hey, if God be for us, who can be against us? Come on, like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a happy day. Let's go out there and um, celebrate the affair and cheer our boys to victory. Come on. Come on, let's go. Well, you see, guys, I never believed that... Uh, our coach is a nice person. Yeah, until today. I mean, I am so grateful that I came for this testimony. At least it has given me the opportunity to see life differently and see things and appreciate things differently. It's good. Well, I am now a changed man. 
So anything that has to do with indiscipline, I am out of it. I'm saying this now because if any of you has anything in your mind to rebel against the coach or to counter his decisions unnecessarily, please count me out. I will not be a part of it. I am now a changed man. I mean, Nikki, what's going on? Jay, I just told you what's going on. I have made my decision. Make your own stand. Well, I've always believed in our coach. And I will always stand by him. Come rain, come sunshine. Are you guys for real? Well, I mean, okay. Well said. It's coach all the way, man. That's it. Is there something you guys are not telling me? Because even Matthew just pledged the support to us. Jay. Is there something you have against the coach? Uh, not really. It's just that... Um... Well, if you guys think that the coach is the best thing that's ever happened to this team, then so be it. That's it. <clears throat> Jay, I'm, I'm happy to hear you say that. Emenike. Yeah. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for for everything. I know saying I'm sorry will not be enough. But I want you to take it from me that I am very grateful for everything. It's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, guys, let's go see the coach. Let's not keep him waiting. That's it, son. What's the meaning of all this? Elnye? I'm sorry I had to do what I did. Why can't explain? Oh, shut up! What is there to explain? Eh? You betrayed your own sister and you still have the nerves! to say that she will explain. What? Stop this madness, will you? You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I wish the ground would open and swallow me when you were shamelessly telling Williams what transpired between you and him to the hearing of everybody in the room. When you calm down, tell me what exactly happened. Just say that I am disappointed in her will be the greatest understatement of all time. And it's high time you respect yourself and shut that your mouth. Do not speak to me like that. Do not the enormity of what you did. Do not the risk you put me through because I was fighting for you. Huh? Do you know how given do you think rap is a dog? How could you accuse a man of rap when you shamelessly offered yourself to him? You are a monster, Kira. Kira, you are shameless. You are an idiot. You are very stupid. I regret having you as a sister. It's enough. Enough for you. Don't speak to me like that. Shut up. Will you just shut up? Shut up. No, we won't. Will you just shut up? What is wrong with the two of you? Now you sit down! Sit down! Sit down and tell me what's going on! Kira, I regret having you as a sister! Oh, shut up! I regret having you! You are very stupid! Oh, shut, shut up! up. Stop. 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 shut up! Oh, shut up! Shut up! And sit down! Rubbish! Shut up and sit down! Is it, that, is it too hard?
It is not entirely true that football players of this generation are only after money. What is entirely true is that today football is all about money. Gone are the days when people played football for the fun of it. No. Football is about massive business and there is a lot of money in the game. And because football is now massive money making business, players are always asking for what is their right. And whatever is the right of the players should be given to them. Uh, period. Yeah, that's it. Period.